One of the cool things that you can do with solar system astrophotography is that you can use the images that you've processed to create animations. There's several different applications you can do, such as the solar flares erupting from the surface of the sun, a comet traveling through a star field, and also planetary rotations. So let's hop onto the computer for an astrophotography tutorial session as I show you how you can create your own rotation animation from your planetary astrophotography. My name is Kwesi Akwa, and welcome to the Astro Park. In this tutorial, I'll be using these following programs. Okay, so I'm inside of PIP and I'll be using the data that I collected last September during my imaging session for the planet Jupiter to create a planetary rotation animation. Jupiter is a great planet to do a rotation animation on since it has a pretty rapid rotation. Jupiter completes one revolution on its axis every 10 hours. So if you're able to photograph the planet for an entire night, you should be able to capture one complete revolution, which is pretty cool. But that night I was only able to capture roughly about three hours of data, so I got a 30% rotation for this animation. So the first thing we're going to do is to make sure that you've actually processed the individual animation frames that we'll be using for the animation. So you'll do this by doing the traditional processing methods of using Auto Stackert and Registacks. So you take your video, place it through Auto Stackert, stack the best frames from that video. Then you take your stacked image, put it through your Registacks, apply your wavelets and your sharpening, and that should be your processed image that you'll be using for the animation. Now for this tutorial, I won't be going in depth on how to use Auto Stackert and Registacks since there's already some excellent existing tutorials on YouTube. But if you're interested in learning how to use AutoStacker and Registacks and you would like for me to do a tutorial on how I personally process my images with those two programs, let me know in the comment section below. And if there is enough interest for that, then I'll consider doing a tutorial session for those two programs. But for now, I'm going to assume that you already know how to use Auto Stacker and Registacks to do your planetary photo processing. So once you've completed processing your images, we can then open the image files to put in the image list. So if you follow my cursor here, we're going to click on Add Image Files. And then you can select the files from your location. So I'm going to use these files that I've already pre-processed. So click open. So join mode has been selected, so that's fine. You can click OK. And it will show a preview of one of your animation frames. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the default dimensions for this because it has my planet and a couple of moons that I also want to animate. So we can close that. So this next part is optional, but if you need to, you can click on the processing options. Go to object planetary stabilization mode. And if you need to, you can 
enable the cropping so you can select the height and width of all of your image frames. So for this tutorial, I'm going to keep everything in its default configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck these. But this option is there if you need to use it. So I'll be going next to the actual, first I need to click on none. So I'll be going next to the output options. And here we can select the output format. So it's usually used in either AVI video mode or an animated GIF to uplink your animation to the internet. But for this tutorial, I'll be using the AVI video format. So we go to the AVI file options. You want to uncheck where it says use same frame rate because we're going to change the frame rate a little bit. So for this tutorial, since I'm using 59 animation files, I'm going to lower the frame rate a little bit to about 10 frames per second. So it will play 10 of those frames in one second, so it should give me a, roughly about a five second animation. So once we do that, we can then click on the animation options. So we have forward play, reverse play, and complete sequence repeat. So we're going to check all of these. So for the forward play, it will play all of the frames in forward order. And then once it reaches the last frame in the sequence, it will then play all of the frames in reverse order. And we can choose the number of repeats that this sequence goes through. So for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and choose five. And I also like to do a pause. And this should match the number of repeats. So in this example, it will play the animation forward. Once it reaches the last frame, it will pause for a second and then play it in reverse to the first frame, pause again for one second, and then play it forward again. So it will repeat that sequence of play, pause, and then play for five times. And you also want to check do not do the reverse play in the final repeat. So once we finish with that, we can then click on do processing. Once the status is complete, we can then click on start processing. So now it will actually process all of the animation frames. And depending on how many frames you have in your animation, this could be a long or a short process. So I have about 59 files processed it pretty quickly and now it's in the process of creating the animation video and once again this depends on how many frames you have as well as the speed of your computer so it should be finished in about a few seconds now and once it's finished it'll give me a message saying that it's been completed there we go. And then once it's completed, we can then open the output folder to where the video was saved. And then we can click on this file and then take a look at our final result. So that's how to create a planetary rotation animation. Now you can see why Jupiter is such an awesome planet to do an animation for. Because if you're lucky, you can catch the Great Red Spot transit, the Shadow transit, and the rotation of the Galilean moons all in the same video. 
So I hope you found this useful and that you have some fun creating your own animations. Thank you for watching Astro Park. And as always, until next time, take care and I wish you all clear skies.